Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 21st, 2021. Well, doggone it, those bears decided to show up yesterday as worries about the new variant spread rapidly around the country, and we saw some more technical damage in the charts. But this morning, the futures are trying to shake this off um, here this morning with another big gap, this time to the upside. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. If you take a look right here, you can see this is a pre-market candle. It's colored in pink so you can see it. And we are gapping uh, from our, our low yesterday, we are gapping almost 600 points. <laughs> from that low yesterday um, higher. So, you know, here we go again with a huge risk um, in the market's trying to inspire us to rush back into the market. And yet again, with this giant gap in the market, all it's done is created a tremendous risk. And we have to continue to remember that we have lots and lots of price resistance above. Let's note right here, one of the stronger areas of price resistance that we could rally back up to in the chart. And how, whoops, here, let me just draw a line, make sure it's nice and straight. So um, as you can see right here in that chart, we've got a pretty significant price resistance level above. Now we have, the good news here is we held a higher low in the diamond. So we didn't come down here and test this December 1st low, but we still have to recognize the fact that we also have a downtrend in play and that we are below our 50 day moving average. Now we could run back up here and attest to that range up here, but let's keep in mind the possibility with a big gap up like this. And remember, we're going to be having a declining volume situation because all the folks, all the traders heading out for their Christmas travel and plans. Um, we could see entrenched bears up here uh, willing to defend. So we can't rule out the possibility of a pop and drop. We also can't rule out the possibility of a little bit of a short squeeze triggered on this. But keep in mind that variant is not changing just because the market is deciding it wants to shake this off. It's really expanding rapidly and there's news that New York may be doing some shutting down of different um, events. A lot of the shows and things have already shut down and they're even talking about canceling the big um, New Year's Eve, or not the New Year's Eve, the Christmas Eve celebration um, um, there in New York um, as well. So um, as this continues to crop up in the news, we're going to run into more volatility. So the question everyone's going to have to deal with, and I think what we're probably beginning to see is market sentiment, that willingness to just rush and blindly chase back in, maybe starting to diminish a little bit. Add to that the holiday shutdown coming our way, and there may not be quite the energy to just buy this all the way back up. I could be wrong, but we'll wanna watch that pretty carefully. So definitely some technical damage here in the chart, well below its 50 day, but there is that little bit of hope as well with that higher low in the chart. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY pushed on down, didn't quite make it. We, we came really close to breaking down to a new low, but we held just very ever so slightly, ever so slightly off of that price support. Now, if you take a look right in here, we do have a pretty good level of price support in the chart to react to. Um, and we are bouncing back up. But once again, 
we're going to have to think pretty carefully about these resistance levels that we have in the chart above. Note that we are below our 50 day moving average and that 50 day, 34 EMA, 20, 8 exponential all could provide that additional resistance as we try to shake off this variant that we know is continuing to expand and creating issues for us. So we'll want to keep an eye on that pretty closely. And what I want to caution everyone is since we're gapping so big here this morning in the SPY, we're gapping um, over eight points here um, from the overnight lows or for, from the lows of yesterday. And that puts us at a high risk of a whipsaw or a pop and drop or anything like that. So be really, really careful with the trades that you decide to take and whether or not the risk heading into the holiday is even worth it. Um, consider that carefully. So watch close as we try to rally back up, but just consider we have considerable resistance in the chart. And I'm going to show you reasons why you might want to be just a little careful with that in some of the internals. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ did make a new low yesterday. So we officially have this downtrend where we um, high, high to a low, rally back up to a lower high and then to a new low yesterday in the NASDAQ. And we can draw our downtrend line here and we have some support right through here that um, held us, but we'll want to consider this significant level of price resistance up in this area here um, as we rally back up. And unfortunately, we're just trying to rush back up there and gap straight back up to that. But just consider that carefully. There may be some risk here of that pop and drop or these resistance levels where the bears could defend uh, pretty strongly. So keep that in mind as we try to rally back. And then if we take a look at our Russell, our Russell also made a new low yesterday and continues in this downtrend in the chart with huge um, resistance levels above. Now keep in mind, we, we just barely, I mean, we grabbed onto that with our fingernails and climbed back up. So we just barely held on to that big level of price support. That is bullish um, for the chart, but we have these big levels of price resistance and congestion above and you include that downtrend and we've got a lot explaining to do here on the Russell, whether or not we're gonna be able to get that moving and those small caps can uh, pick back up. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX, we shot up pretty hard yesterday, but notice at the end of the day, as we started to rally, and this really happened really close to the end of the day, we still ended up with a higher close, but um, we did pull back from that fear yesterday as Omicron kind of started to shake out a little bit that we weren't quite so worried about it. But let's keep in mind, we are holding above our 20 handle in here on the VIX. Now that could give up today with this big gap up this morning. But remember, we've come down into this area and we've bounced before. So watch this price area right in here. If we push down, watch for that potential in that bounce back up here on the VIX. Now, what this VIX is doing, um, yesterday I was looking at trying to pick up some bull put credit spreads on the indexes, but there just was no pricing in there that made it worth doing because um, even the market makers are nervous at this point. Bid ask spreads were really wide. Prices were terrible yesterday in the options. So be really careful here um, on your chase or hurry back in, particularly with the holiday coming. There's still likely going to be some humps and bumps here before we truly recover. Um, let's take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122 gave us the biggest um, clue that there was going to be some kind of a bounce yesterday and we hit this bearish reversal zone down in here. Now unfortunately we can't do any of these moves during the day. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed that we're getting these massive gaps and then we chop the rest of the day and I suspect we could see the same thing today. We get this massive gap 
maybe a little pop and drop and or maybe a little short squeeze and then just largely chop sideways um, in the market so we don't get the advantage of really taking um, as retail traders taking advantage of these big overnight whipsaws but just keep in mind we were down here in this oversold condition will probably pop up pretty strongly here today uh, might be back up here in the mid-range or even above with this little recovery that we're seeing at the open and then we'll have to decide how we follow through with that today or if we follow through at all with that today then let's take a look at our t2108 now these are those internals that i want to continue to point out here in the market these have been the clues that have had me warning and warning and warning about these um, potential sell-offs now keep in mind we are down here we set um, some new lows here on um, t2108 now this is an oversold condition that would mean that gives credence to a potential relief rally to the upside but we were only 17 and a half percent of our stocks 17 to 18 percent of our stocks above their 40-day moving average that is an awful weak indicator considering how elevated we are in the market now when i say elevated let's take a look just really quick look at the pe ratios here s p 500 pe ratios we are at 90 percent above the historical average the only time we've ever been higher than this was the internet bubble back there in 1999 and 2000. So keep in mind that even though um, we have so many stocks that are beaten down here, it's just really remarkable that our valuations in these stocks remain extremely elevated. So keep an eye on that. Isn't it remarkable that we're actually this close to new highs in the SPY and, and um, diamonds when we are this, uh, so few stocks participating in that upside move. So that just makes that question really difficult to um, difficult to assess how do we how do we continue to push just a very select few stocks keeping the indexes going higher with so many looking bearish now if we take a look at the buffett indicator this also shows us that we are extremely elevated now um, buffett uses an indicator where he uses the composite value of the market against the gdp and it's one of the reasons why Warren Buffett has um, so many millions of dollars sitting on the sidelines. He doesn't like the risk of this market. And you can see right here that 213% um, above the norm here um, in the market. It would be fairly valued at 120%. Um, 213% percent we are quite elevated so remember those elevations remain high um, in the market even though we have these internal showing us this problem and I'll continue to show you um, some problems with that let's take a look at our t2107 t2107 just kind of eked out a new low yesterday in that notice we've just been declining and declining and declining um, so many stocks only 32 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average now that'll improve today but keep in mind we've created lots of resistance levels in this chart that will have to we will have to recover if we're going to start moving back to new highs and these internals are just showing us that there is a lot of weakness there and only a few companies that continue to hold us to the upside and then if we take a look at our t2101 we did have a little tiny increase in market breadth yesterday but nothing of major concern um, we might see that market breadth um, pull back today on this bullish move watch that closely but let's also keep in mind we're still holding above the support levels in the chart so we may not be done with the bearishness here just yet keep that in mind let's take a look at our economic calendar here for the, the day now our economic calendar we don't have much going on today um, as a matter of fact it is going to be a very boring day here and that's why I suggested we might get a this gap up and then chop 
and go nowhere here in the market so be kind of careful we'll have to keep an eye on this 20-year bond auction bonds are going up just a little bit this morning so watch that carefully but really there's nothing in here to move the market um, on that economic calendar so watch that uh, closely now on the earnings calendar yesterday we had Nike um, report Nike got a little bit of a nice uh, pop in their earnings report but let's keep in mind still in a downtrend and then Micron had a really good result and it is trying to break out here this morning for the the news of today those that are reporting today um, if you want to catch the full list of notables make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog let me just cover a, a couple of those we've got blackberry reporting today we're going to hear from uh, general mills today it looks like general mills moving lower on its report this morning we're going to hear from rad um oops rad um, right aid looks like it's trying to move up and notice in here we have that possibility that we could bust, bust through that um, downtrend and if we can bust through and hold a higher low hold some support that might set up some opportunities to the upside so keep an eye on that um, we'll hear from FDS we'll hear from FDS as well so keep an eye there's a couple others on that list that you might want to check if you want to follow all those notables today but with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today and keep in mind that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, guys, if you find these, um, excuse me, if you um, um, try to blindly follow someone else's trade, it's a really, really bad idea to do that. What you want to do is follow your own trading plan. Make sure you understand the risk of every trade and um, make sure you know how much risk to a stop loss you have in these trades before you jump in. That's one of the things that I've been experiencing a lot with the folks that I'm working with and coaching that are losing a lot of money here recently because they're not planning these trades. We're jumping in these knee-jerk reactions and it's costing them a lot of money. So please be careful. Plan your risk on these trades. Now you guys know that I've mentioned quite a few stocks here recently recently in that defensive sector area. And this is another one of those um, reasons, guys, that I, su I am suggesting safety and to be a little bit careful. Notice that PepsiCo, defensive sector stock, whoops, continuing to move up strongly. Now, what this signals to me is that there has been a rotation from institutions into safety. I think they're deleveraging from some of these high flyer stocks and they're running into stocks that are a little bit more conservative, trying to protect themselves. So this is another one of those internals that is giving me some um, concern. Um, we try to show everybody a whole bunch of hope and, and everything that pile right back in but why would we be seeing defensive sector stocks, and I mean a lot of defensive sector stocks, moving to the upside? Take a look at um, our move here in our consumer staples. Consumer staples, again, one of those safety plays. We're pushing up. We had that little um, Friday pullback gap down yesterday, but pushing back up consumer staples coming up strongly and if we take a look at that ETF these are all the stocks we've talked about over and over and over really boring um, stocks there's that PepsiCo we've got Costco we've got McCormick we've got Philip Morris we've got which by the way is a very nice trade setup potentially um, KHC coming up Kroger coming up looking good um, tap not doing so good here yet but we've got Archer Daniels we've got Coke showing some nice patterns in here after breaking through resistance a possible hold that's worth keeping an eye on there's monster beverages that have come up strongly Mondelez come up strongly a nice little consolidating move after moving up now these are not the kind of stocks that you would particularly you, you would be seeing rally in a very, very bullish market. This is a move to safety and a rotation from our institutions. So those internals here, guys, are
are showing us a little bit of a problem. So look to some of those for a little bit of safety, a little bit protection um, if you're looking for trades. So quite a few of those out there. I still want to mention this VALE. I think, think VALE is still setting up and looking pretty good in that chart. And I saw STX showing some really good moves yesterday, holding this little higher low in here. Obviously, we have some resistance that we've got to deal with in this chart. But, um, you know, those computer chips and things like that, pretty important right now. So keep an eye on that. And this LAC, LAC um, broke way down in here. Um, I would want to watch this and there's going to be quite a few stocks guys that could be setting up short. And as you can see, we're in a downtrend pushing down any rally back to this um, resistance area that we broke, um, we have that potential short. So look for those opportunities as, as well. We could have a two-sided market here for just a little while. So with that, guys, hey, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful to your trading, if you could do me a favor, all also, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and feel free to share these videos out on your social feed. Just click that link to share and post that link out on your social feeds. Helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone. I never in my wildest dreams would have imagined that folks would... Um, support a channel that is not full of hype and prediction and um, I truly truly appreciate that a lot so thank you so much everyone and thank you so much for those folks that aren't uh, members of hit run candlesticks and right way options that continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link that's below the title of the video truly appreciate that so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all of the very best i want to wish you great results in your trading remember right way options and hit run candlesticks will be closed on the 23rd and the 24th obviously the market's closed on the 24th but um, will be closed on the 23rd as well because we're taking our holiday seriously as well so everyone take care have an awesome day if you're heading out for your holiday plans i want to wish you all a very merry christmas have a safe travel enjoy that family we'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning take care everyone.